Well, hey everybody, I'm here at the Boeing Center at Techport here in San Antonio, Texas today. I've got an exciting opportunity to meet with a company that is working on a solution for landing ships such as the Starship Human Landing System on the moon. Now, when I was down at Flight 4 for the Starship, I got a chance to meet with many of the engineers and people that work at Astroport, and they invited myself, also Ellie in Space, to come up here and find out a little bit about what they are doing and how they may be able to help make that uh, landing and the return of humans back to the moon much more successful. Now, we've watched the Starship development down at Starbase, and they've been making tremendous strides. But as Jared Isaacman just said in a recent interview that Ellie and I had with them, SpaceX can't do it alone. So this is super important, you know, um obviously a big SpaceX fan and everything that they're trying to accomplish, but they can't solve all the problems related to, you know, making us a spacefaring civilization. Like they're, they're working on the vehicles. Um, there's a lot more to it. So that's great words from Jared. Now, just as a reminder, not only is SpaceX working on the Starship, the booster and stage zero development for that rapid reuse. They're also developing the HLS lander. They're developing the capabilities to be able to do in orbit refilling. And that's going to be critical to be able to support the lunar mission. In addition to that, the Polaris Dawn mission that is getting ready to launch in July with Jared Isaacman and his crew is designed to test additional technologies, including spacesuit development as they mentioned, they can't do it alone. And recently, they've been working with NASA and also Axiom Space to further develop spacesuits that may be used for the lunar landing and operations. In addition to that, airlock development and, of course, the elevator system that will be critical to move cargo and people from the Starship to and from the lunar surface. But even with that work, there's still a lot that needs to be done. And that's where Astroport here in San Antonio comes into the picture. And recently they earned contracts with NASA to help prove and develop more of this technology that we're going to see in a few minutes. And uh, this is going to be one of the things that is critical to allow the safe landing and operation of starships and probably other lunar landers in in the future and that has to do with preparing a surface to land on. Now the lunar regolith is very uneven, it's rocky, and it has a lot of challenges to land as we've seen with recent missions going to the moon. And what Astroport is trying to develop is a way to have a landable surface that eliminates the problems with regolith uh, being blown up out of the surface possibly causing shrapnel that can damage the lander, also any infrastructure that may be on the lunar surface, and in some cases, possibly even putting some of that material into lunar orbit, which could be a danger to future missions. So without further ado, I'm pretty excited to go in and find out what they are doing here and be able to show you a little bit more about some of the development process that is underway here. So let's go in and let's find out uh, what's going on. <laughs> 